Ruiz. We had some nice downpours in Louisiana today, not as much here in Baton Rouge than what we had near about Prairieville all the way down to Laplace and then over Acadiana, but at least we got some rain all thanks to this stalled out boundary that it's going to stick with at least the northern Gulf Coast for a couple of days before it pushes offshore. So with today's rain, we picked up anywhere from about trace amounts. Some of you didn't even see any rain whatsoever, maybe some drizzle. And then some spots, especially over Acadiana, picked up two to four inches of rain. Unfortunately, even over the past five days, as you see, we've only had a couple of hot spots picking up over two inches of rain. And so with tomorrow's drought monitor update, likely going to not see much in the way of improvements, maybe some of the exceptional drought, which that's what the scale maxes out of. Uh, we may have some improvements for some, but not much. And we're not expecting any widespread drought breaking rain at least not anytime soon. 76 degrees right now feels like 77 with the calm winds and then the areas that did get some rain today could have some patchy fog overnight, not expecting anything dense. Starting the day off dry and then as we get that peak heating of the day, you add all that instability, all the heat, all the moisture in place and then an upper level disturbance as well as that stalled boundary, you have the ingredients for at least scattered activity tomorrow and some of you may not even get into the 90s tomorrow. Then Friday, that boundary is going to push offshore or at least get closer to the coast, and that should at least trim our rain chances down just a little bit, and we should have winds out of the north, so it shouldn't feel all too unbearable. So the latest run the future track shows a decent rain coverage tomorrow, at least scattered activity into the afternoon. You see how the rain's moving west to east, not expecting any organized severe weather, but as we know any storm this time of year with all the moisture we have in place won't take much to get a stronger thunderstorm. Then Friday, as I mentioned, the the front should be either stalled out near the coast or offshore. And so, yes, there could be a couple of showers, but this far north likely not going to have as much as today and uh, uh, tomorrow as well. For Saturday, this is when the forecast gets a little iffy only because we have the potential for yet another front to move in by the second half of the weekend into early next week. And this front, if it clears the area, could bring us some drier air. So on the muggy meter, how it's going to feel at least the next couple of days with dew points in the 70s and upper 60s, it is going to be muggy. But if that cold front does clear the area early next week, we'll have some comfortable air in place. Now we're not going to have any cool weather, but at least it would be more bearable. As for the tropics, the latest on Hurricane Lee, it is still a Cat 2 hurricane. It's wind field very, very large, and it is going to pass just to the west of Bermuda tomorrow, bringing impacts, especially some at least tropical storm force winds. And then it is going to take aim to anywhere. The center could go anywhere from far northeastern Maine and then potentially Nova Scotia and then impacting the Atlantic side of Canada, far eastern Canada. And there are already some alerts in place for New England. Check this out. Tropical storm watch, hurricane watches from um, Massachusetts, even Rhode Island, all the way up to northern Maine, northeastern Maine and the Canadian border. You see that right there. So very, very wild stuff. Meanwhile, the Gulf of Mexico will stay quiet for the next seven days. We are just going to have summer like weather for the last stretch of summer. Don't forget fall officially begins next Saturday, and I'm sure a lot of us are really rooting for that first cold front, but I'll tell you what, Renee and Jacob, not getting that anytime time soon.